This video consists of mostly images and a couple of short clips from my files of a visit to Muscatine Mall in Muscatine, Iowa in June 2019. This was my first and only trip to the mall, and well before I found a steadier hand to mall record. I'm also going to be sharing some footage of the mall's odd website later on in the video. I want to start out by saying this mall was dead. Flat out dead. While the interior corridor was open to the public, there were very few businesses on the inside. Several tenants had exterior access only, and only a few had interior access, and a few had both. While the Yonkers sign was still up, this store had been closed for about a year with a pop-up furniture store still operating in that place. It is so interesting to see a place like this so well frozen in time. From the old movie theater to the old Foot Locker, I can't help but think of what this mall was like in its prime. And just 15 years ago, I have been told it seemed like a normal mall full of shops and restaurants and most importantly, shoppers. It looks like Muscatine Mall opened in 1971 in its early years, it featured about 50 tenants and likely was anchored by Woolco or Woolworths, JCPenney, and Von Maar. The Woolco or Woolworths became a Walmart, which then became a Menards in the late 1990s. Ultimately, I believe the space was split and has been occupied by various power center stores like Joanne or Slumberland. The Von Maar became a Staples to eventually become an Elder Beerman, and finally a Yonkers. JCPenney stayed JCPenney the entire time, up until its closure in 2014. There have been lots of plans to revitalize the mall over many years' time, but the mall's success continues to dwindle. So, I decided to do something a little bit different, and... Just do a quick Google search for this mall. And amazingly enough, they have a website. And normally when you find a mall like this and find a website, the domain is for sale. But this website actually is pretty complete for a mall like this. It's, it's actually really surprising that it's even still live. So... The first thing I have to call out is 30 businesses. I don't even think it's close to that. Um, second thing, this picture looks like it was taken 15 years ago. My pictures really don't look like this mall right here, so that, that's another thing. And then you, you have to love just the amateur photo editing all of these very happy families with generic bags. I don't think much of that is going on here, unfortunately. So let's let's click into the stores and see what's going on here. They have Anytime Fitness, and it looks like for all of the businesses that don't have a very long description, there is a placeholder that is live on their website. So CJ Nails, a few sentences about this merchant. There aren't a lot of interesting businesses, in my opinion. Um, and then I, I'm looking at some of these. Regis Salon, I, I don't, it wasn't open when I was there a year and a half ago. And I honestly don't think it's been open for 10 years. So that's somewhat interesting. Let's look at dining. Now, I'm really curious about Nana's Pleasures and what kind of dining goes on there. <laughs> um, so maybe we'll have to do a little bit more digging on what that might have been. Events. Looks like we're wide open. No events happening right now, unfortunately, but... There was a lot going on here in 2014. Busy event, Hawkeye Motorworks. 
John Eberhardt. So that's interesting. Mall info. They got plenty of stuff here. And, um, oh, a form. I wonder how many months it would take for someone to get back to you if you were going to fill that out. Um, I don't think I will, but it might be kind of interesting to see. I don't have that kind of time to wait around for it. And news. What do we have here? 2015, so five years ago. And six years ago, six and a half years ago, this is the recent news. Facebook permissions have expired. So that's that's about all the website is. I mean, I'm still impressed, but um, again, I think they're overhyping the mall from this website. Now, let me go over to this ad that I found, and it was December 2019, updated January 20th, 2020. That is quite the crowd, pre-COVID crowd. It's good to see that they have a use for the mall for a craft fair or any other type of festival. So, I mean, that's something that I always like to see. I'm not going to say it's weird or pick on it. Um, good, good for the mall operators for doing that. But it, it's just amazing how how sad this mall is. And, and you'll see it from some of my pictures. And that was already a year and a half ago. For those still here, I'd like to thank you for watching. And be sure to comment, like, subscribe if you like what you see. Thank you.